Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's the difference between Ibn Kathir and Imam Sa'ad? Imam Sa'ad, his tafsir is very, very basic. He just gives you the meaning of the ayah, uh, and rarely will he quote a hadith or a statement from one of the son of he. He'll just give you a very uh, basic summary as to what the ayat mean. And that's why the ulama have definitely recommended Sa'adi as being the very first of Sir that the person should be engaging with. Um, it's very clear. And even sometimes he won't even say anything. So say, for example, the people of Taqwa will be in Jannah. That doesn't need any comment. That doesn't need any explanation. It's clear. Even in the English language, once it's been translated, it's clear. Uh, whereas other tafsirs might have a bit more behind it. Why was it revealed? What's the context? Are there some hadith which back up this particular ayah uh, or, or, or context, etc. That's why Saadi is definitely the first one recommended. Now, the problem is, is that the way it's been translated, I don't know. Has it been translated in a way that makes it overly complex? Is the language simple for a person to understand? Um, there are different factors. Are there a lot of footnotes, etc.? As for Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir's style is to explain the Qur'an with the Qur'an itself, or to explain the Qur'an using hadith or narrations from the Salaf. That's how the Arabic is laid out. Therefore, it's a bit more difficult for a person to understand uh, straight off. He might need explanation um, for, for certain uh, ayat and certain hadith as to what they mean. And, and even the grading sometimes, you might even use weaker hadith, which have not been accepted by others. Uh, so, what you've been confused is a bit more complex, but it is still a lot easier compared to other tafsirs. If a person was to read what Ibn Kathir has said, it's not to say that he won't benefit. Of course, you will benefit. But I would say the starting point would definitely be Saturday. But again, I think the major factor is, is that how has the been translated? Has it been overly complicated? Has it been translated correctly? Has it been edited? Has it been checked? Because I've seen certain things from Tafsir Ibn, Ka- Ibn Kathir which hasn't been checked and wasn't reviewed um, before it was published which then, you know, affects the quality of the translation. I mean, this happens, it happens to us all, uh, you know, Allah forgive us, but uh, I would say definitely focus on Saadi, uh, pending that the, that the translation itself is simple and straightforward, uh, and Allah knows best.